Welcome to Unit 22. This screen in GDP is very similar to the page in your textbook, 436. Shows that we are discussing designing office publications this week. This is a good summary showing that you're going to use text boxes, word art, pictures, and newspaper column format to design and create cover pages, announcements, and flyers and newsletters, which will be a three-part notice, ABC, creation of a newsletter in Lesson 108, 109, and 110. We're going to learn about special formatting that can be applied to pictures and word art, things that can enhance the picture or word art by using the Format tab and options that you'll find there. In Lesson 106, Designing Cover Pages, I want to call your attention to 106D, the lesson in your Word manual. I'd like you to complete this exercise so that you understand how Word art is inserted, edited, and aligned. You will discover that using a Word art object will add special effects to your cover page designs. And this lesson will demonstrate Word art features such as changing styles, color, lines, and fill effects. Remember, it is easy to use undo. I'd encourage you to be creative and experiment, just remembering that you can always click undo several times to get you back to the place where you may think that you've messed up. But remember, you are being creative and you have lots of room to experiment. When you are ready to do the assignment, 10678, the cover page, you will click here to start work. To create this cover page, we're going to be inserting pictures, positioning and formatting pictures, inserting word art and positioning and formatting that word art, creating text boxes and positioning and formatting those text boxes. With Show Hide On, you will notice that there does not need to be any actual typing on the page itself outside of the objects we're going to insert. So this should be the only format mark you see on the page directly. Our first step is going to be to insert clip art related to health or the medical profession. And while I may demonstrate something very similar to the model in the book, you are welcome to choose different clip art and use different colors to complement it. Go to the insert ribbon, choose clip art, and in the search box, notice how mine is still back on check mark. The last time that we searched for clip art is what will show up on yours also, probably. Now I'm going to choose health and see what I get from this search. Let me scroll through to see if I can find the clip art I want. I had to come back and search for EKG in order to find this exact clip art, but I did want to use it because, because I want to show you the change in shape we're going to use. This is a rectangular or square graphic, and I'm going to change the shape here. Close our clip art pane. First, I'm going to size the clip art so it looks similar to the one shown in the illustration. What I need to do is change the text style to in front of text in order to move the graphic freely on the page. So I can right click, choose wrap text, and in front of text. Now I can drag it where I want. I'm going to leave room for that word art on top, so I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to apply attractive visual style to my clip art. I'm going to move up to the picture style gallery. You can move your mouse over a lot of the options and see how they look. There are several oval shapes, some that fade the border. I'm going to use this one that has the shadow under it with a black border and rounded or oval shape. Okay, you might decide to modify the size a little bit, that's fine. And here we have something that shows just like the example on page 439. Now we're going to insert word art. So click outside that clip art. We're going to move to insert word art. I'm going to choose something with red in it. And we can insert our words, healthcare basics. and then move to the Format tab. 
Notice if we move to the home ribbon, this is already at size 36, which is the size that we need. If you have chosen a different style, you may need to correct this, but move back to your Drawing Tools Format ribbon, and we're going to find Text Effects, the Transform options, in order to apply a shape to the text. The Text Effects option is here where you see the fuzzy outlined blue A. If your window is larger, then text effects actually appears by that icon. But if you have your window reduced, as I do, then you have to rely on the mouse over to prove that that is text effects. Click the drop down arrow and you will see transform at the bottom. Here we have lots of options. We can choose a shape for the word art. Now we can move this to the center of the page. You can do this by eye, but if you want it to be exact, choose Position. Let's align it horizontally, centered, relative to the page. Okay, now notice that we can change the shape now by manipulating the size of the text box. So here we can increase the curve, by just pulling this even down below the graphic, that looks a little bit more like what is in the book. Now I'm going to actually turn off Show Hide. Now that I have centered the word art relative to the page, I am going to center the clip art also and make it look a little better here. Move to Picture Tools, Position, and we're going to align it centered relative to the page. You could choose margin too, it, it doesn't really matter. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. We're going to insert a text box instead of word art for the next step. We're going to create a text box about the same size and in the same position as the one shown below the clip art. Insert text box. We're going to draw a text box We want Cambria 36 point bold italic for this text box, so it's easiest to set that on the Home tab. Cambria happens to be the heading text, 36, bold, and italic. Go ahead and center this also. Type with quotes, making the right choice. Notice how the descenders of our letters are cut off. We're going to change that later. Now select this text and we're going to change the color to complement our clip art. I think I'll use a blue this time as they did in the textbook. Just choose a color from the menu here. Then you need to increase the height of your text box until all of the letters show. Now if you don't think your text is centered relative to the page, Go back and position it the same way we did before. Alignment, center, relative to the page. Okay, it did shift a little there. Okay, next, remove the border around this text box. With it selected, move up to Shape Outline and choose No Outline. There we go. Now click outside and we're ready to create another text box about the same size and position as the one at the bottom of the page. It is going to contain all of the remaining lines of text. So let's scroll down, move to the Insert Ribbon, Text Box, Draw Text Box. Notice from the ruler over on the left that I am below the margin, so I'm going to hop back up here. You can move down to within a half an inch of the edge of the page, but probably shouldn't go beyond that to allow for the limitations of whatever printer will be used. Okay, I can also keep this within the one inch margins. The first line that we're going to type, we're going to use small caps. So we're going to move to the Home tab, choose the Font dialog box, click Small Caps, we're also going to use Calibri, but 24 point, bold, and center. Type 
a seminar sponsored by Bold Medical Center, you shift with the first letter of each word except for the preposition by. When you use shift, they're all capital letters, but it makes the first letter of each word taller. After that, press Enter two times, change to Calibri 20 point, still bold and still centered, turn off small caps at this point, press Enter one time, type 1 to 2.30 p.m. Press Enter two times and type the date July 10, 2000 and the current year. You don't need to press Enter anymore at this point, but we do need to remove the border. So with this text box selected, move to the Drawing Tools Format Ribbon, Shape Outline, and No Outline. There are many ways to remove the border. I may have used another one previously, but this is a perfectly easy way to do it. Let's decrease our zoom so that we can see the entire page here. Here I see that I need to not only decrease the height of my text box, it has too much room in it, but I want to move everything down so that the bottom line is just basically one inch above the margin. Now even though we have centered the lines inside this text box, I would like to be sure that I have centered the entire text box relative to the page. So I'm going to move to Position again, More Layout Options, and align it centered relative to the page. You can also use margin or column. Okay, not much of a shift there. Now I did promise you one other thing. My making the right choice here is not overlapping very much with the shadow, but it is somewhat. So I'm going to move it up just a little bit so we can make this more dramatic. To move the text box freely on the page, I needed to change the wrap to square. At least I was having difficulty moving it up, so here we are. Notice how it cuts off the shadow of the graphic. We can change that by changing the fill style of our effect. We can go up here to the Shape Fill, choose No Fill, and notice how now the shadow shows through that text box making the right choice. Now I actually would like the graphic and the Healthcare Basics at the top to be larger, so I'm going to see if I can demonstrate making some modifications here. In order to do that, we need to move Making the Right Choice down on the page so that it is about in the middle then selecting the graphic, which is a little difficult to do since we expanded the size of the word art to be over the graphic. I'm going to change the size of the graphic this way, and notice how since we positioned it automatically, it has moved back to the center of the page all on its own. Now up to the word art. I think this is going to require increasing the font size. So let's do it this easy way with clicking Increase Font Size button and see what difference this makes. Now click outside and it will revert to its shape. There we go. I like that better. Okay, with that modification, I think I'm happy with the cover page as it shows here. Remember, you don't need to make the same choices I did for clip art, word art, or colors but do use some color in your document and make them all coordinated. Okay, I'm going to see how this scores in GDP, but this is probably not something that I'm going to be too concerned with, and you may not even get the same results that I did, but if you follow the steps, you should be fine. Okay, here you can see this should be encouraging to you. I get 15 keystroking errors when they scored the document that you just saw created. They are not typos, you should double check for that, and I have seen students get zero errors on this document, but it is very rare. So as long as you have proofread for typos, do not worry if your error screen shows up something like this. They're basically not liking the placement of the text box for making the right choice or healthcare basics, which they think I have left out altogether. However, making the right choice text box they just think is misplaced.
but it is not. It looks fine, and if your document looks fine too, I'm not going to worry about the keystroking errors. Okay, this document is complete, and I'm ready to move on to the next one. See you there. Music